Don't you start that. Um, now we're gonna test. What? Phone. Why are you upset, phone? Hey, Star, I'm sorry about what's going on. Thanks for still watching the stream. I appreciate it. I just saw your twit your tweet to me. I remember drink with this hand because the mic's over here. Look here. You know man. all those polite you things. Go home and start thinking about what a fine pickle your brother's landed himself in. Quit picking on him. But he'll be free tonight, cause he's innocent. Don't be daft, lad. It's a closed case. It's not a closed case. That's why Sherlock's here. Constable Marrow, Watson. I would like to make you happy when I say that. <laughs> with your help. Well, good, Jet. I'm listening, Mr. Holmes. I want to check if Leighton's testimony can be trusted. If someone could vanish into thin air at a specific moment. But Holmes, I don't see how. I am going to be the mysterious gentleman whom Leighton followed. I will stand exactly where he saw him before he was blinded by the flash. Watson, you will be Leighton. When I fire the signal flare, you should start to chase me. I understand, Holmes. You, Constable Marrow, just play your part and do exactly as you did. Just, please, wait five seconds after the signal flare. I doubt that Polly Powell would have screamed any earlier. As you say, Mr. Holmes. Let Thank us you. begin, then. Catch me if you Catch can. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Oh. What is going on? Are you wondering where he climbed the There. There. Here. The moon illuminates this wall. Anyone trying to climb it would be easily spotted by Constable Man. Alright, not that wall. Just kidding. So many people it's running around climbing walls. In shadow. It would be difficult Jeez. to see anyone scaling it. How about we scale that one? Because there's a mirror at the end of the... Oh, okay, so he said he saw the bright lights. Probably because there's a mirror at the end. What's going on right now? I guess I'm... I can barely see anything. Holmes? Are you there? Who left? Uh... I should try climbing faster. You climb faster! You are close to leveling. Holy cow! Faster, he says. Faster. I can barely see anything. <laughs> Holmes, are you there? Am I climbing fast enough? Where is he? My God, a man can't just disappear like that. Sassy Sherlock. <laughs> he is kind of sassy, isn't he? Holmes? Holmes? Where are you? I cannot see you, Mr. Holmes. Dr. Watson, it what seems happened? That Mr. Holmes has disappeared. Don't worry, gentlemen, I am up here. 
above your heads. How on earth did you get up there, Holmes? I am using crampons and a climbing axe. Although the person we are looking for did not leave any traces of such tools. Constable, is there any way to get to the top of this building? Yes, Mr. Holmes, I can show you. The door to the building can be found from Whitechapel Street. Gentlemen, I am on my way down. I don't have to climb down, do I? Okay, good. Um, okay, so we did that. Is it here? Yeah. Inspect the attic. These shards of glass are from the window above. You're watching on Xbox One? That's cool, man. I'm playing on Xbox One. Check. A cluster of thick black threads. They're unusually strong. I should examine them under the microscope. It's empty. Wow, really? What? Someone broke through the window to get inside the attic, but in his haste, he ripped his jacket We can conclude that the person whom Leighton saw climbed up the wall, broke into the attic window, and escaped through the hatch. Pancake, I'd be happy to stop by, um, if you can send me a message on here. Sometime. Who done did it? The other dude. Leighton's innocent! That matches. Oh. All right, no more deductions. I have two stop by your streams, just not recently. Oops. All right, so we're going back to Baker Street. We're going to check out whatever these black reds are, I guess, under a microscope, I think. I'm not really sure. Sherlock here has it under control. I just do what he says. <laughs> Examine these. Let us take a closer look. Ah. It is not a thread, but a hair. I very much doubt that it is human. What? I need to compare this sample with a human hair and a horse hair. Hmm. A shaving brush is usually made from horse hair. Watson, uh, could you please pass me your shaving brush? Here you are. Uh, Watson, look. What's outside the window? Well, I don't see anything. Ouch! 
<laughs> I don't make such a fuss. <sighs> One little hair. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. Human hair is significantly thinner than the black sample. True. The horse hair is thinner than the hair that we found. So, this black hair belongs to an animal, and it is larger than a horse. A hair what? from a large and exotic animal. Like animal hair. Circus acrobat. Queen could be a circus acrobat. He managed to scale. In a matter of seconds, hair from a large exotic animal was found. It is pretty cool, Pancake. A cat. Cat is not bigger than a horse, Jet. It. I will say the game is well written, um, and the cases are actually interesting. I find them interesting. Um, it's an elephant. It's an elephant! Um, what do we do now? Nobody knows! Hey, what's up? Welcome to chat. This game is, um, about solving cases as Sherlock Holmes. So, we're currently dealing with a double murder, possible robbery. Um, we go around, we find clues, and deduce things. Hey, Jet Level 19! Woot! I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Oh, good, that makes sense. My archive. I can always consult with it, if needed. Hmm. that make it angry? Yes, it does. It does make it angry. Have I watched the movies? Yes. It's been a while, though. Innocence. This game does make you feel smart. Once you figure it out. <laughs> yep, that makes things angry. It's going over... Here are the deductions. Just double checking. I think we're still missing a person. I almost feel like it's that. And that would be this. Everybody happy? Whoa! Things are happening. Person who was seen only by Leighton Chapman escaped the crime scene by climbing the wall. The criminal took a gun from one of the dead bodies. Ask for Wiggins' help in finding the circus. We can do that. Need to go to the window. Wiggins is currently at Half Moon Street. Half Moon Street. Here we go. Although, I will say, this game is kind of hard to play if you're, like, really tired. I had a full day at school, and then I tried to do one of the cases. Oh, it made my head hurt. <laughs> I couldn't even think. Like, I don't know. I've been in lab all day. Alright, we gotta go find Wiggins, who's hiding out around here. Since it is his big brother, actually, who's been accused. Falsely accused. I don't think it's his big brother, either. Mr. Constable, why did you become a constable? Why? Because I wanted to serve Her Majesty, that's why. And what about serving the people like us? What? Your sort are the plague of London. Be quiet now. 
All right, Anne, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Don't be a jerk, constable. Mr. Holmes? We have good news for you, Wiggins. The investigation has proven very interesting so far. We found facts and details that confirm your brother's innocence. I knew it, Mr. Holmes. But for now, Wiggins, we need your help. Anything you like, Gov. Dun, dun. I need you to locate a circus that has stopped over in London. Oh, gaming. That's not nice. One you can't play nice. You're not going to play at all, dude. One. You can count on me, Mr. Holmes. <laughs>